The problem with handing out magic items in D&D 5e is that the game really isn't built for it, and player characters quickly become too powerful, sucking all the fun and challenge out of things. As the power creep has continued, as the additions evolved, this has become even more true. But players still want magic items, and DMs still want to hand them out. So I've been working on unique approaches to be a bit more free, handing out rewards and treasure that are actually useful and do stuff and aren't just like gold and gems. And so I give you witches' hats. We've got warlocks, right, and hags in 5e, but it does feel like witches are missing, right? So here are 20 powerful magic items you can actually hand out at lower levels because they counterbalance costs to their benefits. Now the players have to think strategically about using them and it turns their hit points and their ability scores into resources they can spend, which quickly changes the whole feel of the game and the character. The idea is a witch's magic works on the principles of balance. They know all gains are earned through spending or sacrifice. So from continuous practice and long studying of like the oral traditions passed down for generations of witches, a witch knows how to fuel their magic with material components carefully gathered, artfully prepared, but the PCs, however, have no such knowledge or skill or material material when they discover the witch's hat. And so, to harness the magic infused within it, they will have to spend a part of themselves. You want to cast haste on your ally without using a spell slot or even holding concentration? Cool. Take 1d6 out of your dexterity score. You regain one point per long rest. You want to afflict everyone within 30 feet of you with temporary madness? That sounds super powerful, but you're also within 30 feet of you, so you're going along for the ride. You want to cast Eye Bite for free? I don't care if you can't cast 6th level spells yet, it's cool, <laughs> only you're going to be blind for the rest of the day. Now can clever players figure out ways to gain these things? My money's on yes, they do it for everything else. Can a Dungeon Master inflict curses or have these hats gain sentience, maybe start talking back, maybe spoiling stealth checks, right, and shouting for enemies if things go that way. Of course they can. This is D&D, baby. And honestly, that sounds like a lot of fun to me, too. Check this out on my Patreon or on DriveThruRPG. I've got a mobile-friendly version to make it easy to text a snip to your players or drop it in a Discord channel while you're playing. I've also got a clean, minimalist version if you want something you can print out and stick into your Dungeon Master's kit, which also doubles as a roll table to randomize how these hats are getting handed out. These are weird and different, and I think they'll get a reaction from your players and lead to some very interesting decisions. So I would love to hear about it in the comments, you know, wherever you're seeing this. Someone's going to kill a character by dropping an ability score to zero, and I hope it's an epic sacrifice, or at least a funny story after the fact. <laughs> Check back soon, or better yet, subscribe, because up next I'm releasing some more standard magic items, but we're putting the old Verdigree table twist on them as well. I hope I see you there. Until then, be kind, have fun. Thanks.